Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So today I'll take this mortar goat for off-road with my wife. We'll go both on, on one bike to see if it can carry us. But I probably will let her hike. She wants to go for hiking on this road. And I'll go to test it out mountains to see if it can actually go uphill with no pedals. So let's go. So we're going for the off-road riding. I'm going to ride to test it out. My wife will go for a little bit of hike. And it's about three miles right to the hill. So we'll go three miles first on the bike together. And then I will let her hike and we'll go for test it out. I walk riding because the road over here too narrow and also too many cars speeding and there's almost no people on the sidewalk the reason i'm going not as fast like 50 miles an hour because also not only two of us on this bike which is actually designed for one person also we are a little bit over capacity weight over 350 pounds for sure three yeah over 350 for both of us and plus equipment so 360 most likely maybe and this bike i think it's a uh, top 320 pounds maximum the bike can go to the top speed with both of us no problem but we have a lot of bumps over here and i don't want to go that fast either to risk and um, but again it's handling really nice this bike actually i like it. it's my, my favorite so far as the e-moped bike no pedals makes it even more fun to ride if you want to use as a more immobile immobile bikes usually comes with pedals right now but many people never use the pedals that's what i never use usually them and mostly with the powerful this bike is a 1000 watt continuous power which is very powerful i believe it's up to 1500 peak power and the speed top speed can go up to 39 miles but very on the weight with my weight is like 30 pound 30 miles which is uh, top speed with my weight over 215 pounds plus equipment so again it's a fast powerful bike and it's uh, on sale right now you can check the link in description plus discount code of uh, that uh, will give you extra 10 percent off on everything on the website include the battery and you can replace the battery with a larger one they're selling right now 20 amp which is um, also a great idea to buy extra battery if you need longer ride but i noticed i just charge uh, full again but last time we rode a lot i rode like uh, over 20 miles and my battery still have over 50 percent uh vault like based on the vault uh, again i don't rely on the display but it was good i think it's pretty good for two people running over 20 miles on one charge uh, and i still have left over over 50 percent again this number might be not 100 percent accurate but at least 20 miles we did and so far we're riding about 2.4 miles on this bike almost on destination and so far i put a 46 miles on this bike um it's very smooth the rear suspension is not just basic coil suspension it's the air suspension so you can uh, add the air if you need to or reduce the air so it will be much softer if you need to i put i believe 120 psi in the rear fork and because two of us are riding and it's very smooth my wife have no complaints right no okay she's happy <laughs> she like it right yeah otherwise she would not ride then 
She just don't want me to ride too fast on it because it can get really fast <laughs> for her. Okay. And actually, we are only like block away from the mountain. And um, last time I rode another bike over here, mountain. Okay, let's go. So hopefully we'll take up to the hill with no pedals, we'll see. I don't really have high expectation because uh, riding off-road uphill might be challenging, but we'll see how it's performed. All right, so we're going off-road, both of us. Uh, probably until uh, some area and I'll let her hike. <laughs> and uh, do you like it? Okay. It's fun, like we're going about 14-15 miles. Um, the bike performed really good. Uh, again, um, it's not designed for two people most likely, because I see it is not as long, but they will have both seaters. The gold bike can actually do the job. All right, so I'm here on trail. My wife went for hike. She wants to get some exercise, uh, which is great for her. And I'm gonna, yes, I'm not gonna get exercise on this bike, but I'm gonna test it out to see if it can go uphill. And let's go. And I'll pick you up on the way back. Okay, see you later. All right, over here is a little bit scary canyon. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow, it's made it really easy here. I just let the people walk through because, yeah, it's not supposed to ride in this area with no pedals. That's what they say. And it's going not bad. Last control. Uh, let's see if it can actually make it. It might be uh, tough, so it might need to walk. We'll see. Okay, it's making, I just, uh, no, I'm helping with my feet now. So basically pushing with my feet a little bit because I don't want to fall because very slow, but this one is the steepest hill. And basically I didn't walk, just make balance with my feet and I made it. Uh, let's go further. It should be more fun. I noticed one thing, I already uh, fixed one, like, so basically on this bike, you might hear like a little bit uh, wobbling noise on the back seat sometimes, like, and it comes from controller inside the box, I noticed, I already opened up on uh, uh, Billy Goat, uh, it's coming from controller because it's loose there in the box, just laying down. So I put some like um, isolation inside, so it will keep the controller uh, just um, solid in the box, so it will not make any rubbing noises. Uh, it's good on this road, but if it gets too... Wow, it's pulling really nice. So it, uh, it does really good off-road. The tires is good. Yeah, I didn't put any slime in the tire yet. Uh, and I rode with my wife. So hopefully no flat because that's the worst you can get. So far it's pulling good about 50 miles an hour. A little bit uphill here. And it is uh, beautiful. So go more uphill. Actually, it's uh, yeah, it's fun. It's like motorcycle. Uh, you don't need more faster. So off-road the speed will reduce because of the 
terrain and I put about 15 psi on the front and let's see I'm gonna take some pictures here 15 psi on the front and uh, 20 psi on the rear tires if you put more it will probably perform better off-road as well but I didn't want to have it too hard so that's why I put just kind of between as I usually do with pedals one as a maximum you can put 30 psi on this bike and it looks amazing <laughs> it's like motorcycle but it is a bike and to attach the pedals it's a little bit complicated because the motor they have I think they didn't realize it has two areas where you can attach two brakes but no free wheel over here so in order to attach free wheel you would have to remove this cover with a new one which will allow you to attach free wheel and I'm not planning to convert this bike it's a lot of fun to ride without pedals and uh, in California I think it's all legal up the 30 miles but again you check with your local laws to see what they say nobody cops never say anything to me on this bike so far so let's go more so far it's fun so if you need hunting bike you can go off-road on this bike easy nice and 20 inch versus 26 inch you get better uh, speed and uh, it's uh, get you better speed in uh, off-road mode about 17 miles an hour and I tried not to go faster, I just uh, re reduced the speed. So. It's actually very fast for throttle only, for off-road. I think it can go easier 20 miles, even faster. But let's we'll see if it can go uphill over here. Wow, actually it does. <laughs> yeah, 14, 15 miles. Actually, uh, last time I pedaled, it was under 10 miles, I think. Let's see how fast it can go uphill. Uh, so far, about 6 miles. But over here, gonna be very steep. So, I'm not sure if it will make it uphill over here. Still pulling still pulling four miles now huh yeah it's made it wow and let's get some speed to jump over this hill as well i think it's very nice it's a lot of fun yeah you don't get much exercise but hey you pick fun versus exercise. I have different bike for exercise. But they will have a lot of pedal bikes. That's what they told me in the future. So now it's pulling like seven miles an hour. Still nice. Up to this hill. That's what my speed was almost with the pedals on the other bike. Now it actually accelerated to 12 miles an hour. So that's amazing. You don't really need the pedals to going off-road in a mountain area. Still can pull. Hello. Wow. So I have only two more hills and I'm pretty sure the last one I will not make it because it's a steepest hill. A lot of times with the pedals I couldn't make it with few bikes, so again, um, this is a nice bike, not only riding on the street, or you can go off-road on this bike as well, that's why they call it GOAT 
for all bikes and much faster than hiking my wife somewhere behind still and I'm gonna pick her up and we'll go back together again because I think it's a lot of work it's about uh, six miles trip one way so 12 miles both way and I still have about 48 volt in the battery maybe even more because it's got a little bit of battery is getting heat up by too much going uphill and it's getting hot over here on this place it says 114 Fahrenheit temperature but I think it's a heat from the sun coming directly to the uh, okay to the uh, display and that's how they come up with temperature and over here most likely I will just walk yeah I'll just walk over here not because I cannot really ride it but I don't want to fall in this kind of hole over here it's a lot of damages and on regular bikes last time I even walked because I didn't want sometimes you cannot pedal on this angle and you can fall easily let's see if I can go from stop completely stop uphill yes it can pull me uphill from complete stop 10 miles an hour all right more impressive and I know that the more I ride on this bike the more torque it gets so basically when you get your bike out of the box you need to ride at least 50 to 100 miles to get full juice out of the battery working well also the motor so I already noticed with many other bikes if you only ride for a few miles that's what people usually do review and then they sell the bikes because they don't have any more of the bikes I did three times so not all of the bikes I did review completely usually if I like the bike I make more video because it's more fun to ride this bike and I like it with this bike I like it it's just not only fun to ride it's giving me a surprise every time I ride like right now I'm going uphill where I never actually would ride mountain bike it's too far look on this hill it's already like hidden hills or Calabasas area most likely here and the bike still doing very well over here I think the last bike I rode over here the motor got overheated it was a little bit hotter I got overheated as well because I got sick after then but I couldn't ride the bike because the motor stopped working on a different brand and it's a sand over here going over the sand dusty sand is fine and some bumps over here and more bumps over here and I don't want to go too fast it has a lot of pulling power I can go much faster I guess if I want to but 30 miles an hour easy and I still have more reserve I don't really pull the uh, throttle much I can maybe climb this hill I'm not sure if I can but let's see uh, almost so I'll just walk here so this is a steepest hill in this area so one of the steepest hill Whew. but I'll walk let's see if it has a um, walk mode let's see yeah it does so press the minus sign oh nice hold it for a few seconds and now the bike pulling me out that's why you need it you don't need to use the throttle and then to stop it you just press the brake and it will stop good future on any bikes usually they come with a uh, walk mode right usually minus some bike come with a plus sign so it's all ready but so far it's performed better than I expect in the mountains another steep hill over here I have two way to go one right over here another ste uh, like steep hill from another side but I'll try the steepest one from this side to see if it can climb otherwise I will walk 
and it will be top of the mountain let's try it so far it's going uphill I'm not sure if it will make it eight miles an hour over here it's gonna be probably stop point yeah so yeah I understand it's kind of super steep uh, I can pedal it but the bike is not as powerful as which that's why you use this walk mode I turn on and the bike going uphill help me to pull up that's what it's for some people don't understand how to use this very simple you press it some bikes require to hold it this bike only one push for a few seconds minus sign and the bike going and it's help you actually get up and if you need to stop it just press on brakes and going up now I'm gonna ride it back a lot of geikas running around here all right and I made it to the top of the hill right here look I made it on the goat bike I know a few hills I had to help it but the bike is actually amazing for the price you're gonna pay come with a Kenda puncture resistant tires 20 by 4 it has a real nice for off-road traction as well headlight very nice bright at night with nice projection light crown fork it has a 60 millimeter travel uh, I did get some bottom out because it's not the best fork I think for off-road the billy goat and folding goat had better one they will have much more upgrades on the new models as well but they will have a new price for them it has very solid uh, mounting over here for the handlebar it's really good it's like almost twice size of the each bolt so it's very safer to ride this bike on the higher speed as well huge suspension with air right over here from another side you put air in if you need to the seat is comfortable for two people so I sit right here my wife sits right over there the battery original comes with 13 amp by 48 volt and you can buy extra which will have about 20 amp battery so you can keep one I have a lot of actually gear inside water my three uh, tri like tripod and uh, some other camera so it has a lot of capacity to put in the back as well which is very useful and I recommend to buy one it makes not only looks good but also you can use like to put different stuff in it the controller like it right over here it's very easy to remove if you want to remove like if you are tr trying to ride off-road I side it actually it's only a few times make some more noises not a lot but if it does make some uh, noise inside recommend to open up and put some foam inside or some to make this uh, controller more fixed inside this way you'll get less wobbling noises but uh, I didn't get as much just a little bit as normal but this bike is not as loud as a regular bike because there's no chain no pedals less parts so less stuff to fix less stuff to maintenance and we're gonna go downhill and I'm gonna pick up my wife as well and let's go so it's time to go back and pick up my wife and let's see how the brakes works so going up hills is fine uh, again depend on the hills most of the hills I was riding the bike as you could see some of them I just decide to walk and maybe it would make it if you lighter than me I'm weight 215 pounds if you lighter than me most likely you will pull up you and uh, the brakes works fine even downhills some Gaika in front of me and yeah it's, it's going downhill just fine the brakes can hold the bike if you need it and then they work good it's uh, actually mechanical brakes but they are doing very well and right here 
on the steepest hill. Not only about the steepest hill, but also these uh, rocks, which are uh, kind of hard to get up uh, without pedals. And sometimes um, I almost actually crash on the other bike because it was so steep, almost fall on the side. But this one made it almost to the top and I decided to walk up. So it's going downhill just fine. The brakes can hold the wheels. So that's most important. They don't really squeak, that's good. But sometimes I like when they squeak. This bike has a horn, which is very good when you're riding. So you can warn people. It's kind of scare for people. They think it's a car behind. But it's just smooth, nice ride. Since there's no chain, no extra parts, it's much quieter going off-road. It's nice on the sand here. And pick up speed really quickly. I do have a battery about 47 volt remain. It's uh, showing me like 75% on the battery, but this is another mountain bike. Hello. And nobody told me ever that there is no pedals. Hey, so um, it all depends where you're riding. Some Karen might tell you, regardless what bike you're gonna ride. Like I rode the other bike with pedals. Somebody told me I'm not supposed to ride here. So it's all very who you meet. But so far I met few people. Nobody say a word. Again, it is fun to ride with no pedals. And I'm not planning to put conversion kit on this bike. I was planning to do on the folding goat. And I'm thinking, still thinking if I should do it. Um, I might just keep without pedals. Because I do have many bicycles with pedals already. So why would I need another one with pedal? So if you have only one, maybe you might want to get pedals. But without, it's fine. Look, you can go uphill. Like a cycle. Easy. <laughs> Pulling me really strong. And I don't want to go that fast. Over here. Wow. Even lift the front wheel a little bit. Can go 50 miles an hour. Uphill. 60. 70. It's all going uphill. It's not the steepest one, but I bet your bike cannot do that. So you don't really need pedals and I have my wife over here waiting for me now. So she did pretty well, I guess, on the hiking part. So I'm gonna pick her up and take her back. We might even ride another road over here. All right. How was your hiking? It's very hot. It's hot? Yeah, it's very hot. And bike still made it. Okay, so let's see. I'll go up here over here. Okay, so it's made it all the way uphill. I'm gonna wait for my wife most likely to get. We can ride actually together on this bike downhill, but she wants to go for walk more. This drone on, on top of me. Let's record it. So it's a really great bike for off-road if you don't want to pedal enough power. Actually, perform really good. Um, I do have uh, other bikes with 1000 volt, and uh, some of them I think can do the same, but I noticed 20 inches versus 26 have better climbing uh, uphill, so you might get better climbing on the smaller wheels. And if you need to ride in a dirt like uh, road, then you may want to consider 26 inches wheels. But these wheels actually have very nice traction, nibble like a real nice. So you can see they use a lot of premium parts on this bike. 
and uh, right now it's like after discount about 1300 only a really good price and I made all the way up hill on this one look how steep it is and I just rode it all up here uh, most likely it will not pull up us both of us but I made it 215 pounds it made uphill just fine and I may just turn around <laughs> and get my life again yeah it just no. all right so my wife uh, made it we're like somewhere in the middle uh, she actually uh, running pretty well I guess <laughs> do you like it do you like more riding the bike or, or hiking what do you like most let's go ride it you, you want to ride it back okay I guess we can ride it easily here it's mostly downhills uh, so we're gonna ride it I guess all right so now we're back on the bike both of us and you can see her in the shade okay so i'm not flying and we're going downhill so the bike actually really nice riding even off-road um 350 pounds you still can make it uh, some downhills and some uphills and wow right. and it's pretty smooth right it does not yeah it's pretty smooth going even on this type of road it's like dirt road, I guess. The brakes still working. Sure, they still work. Yeah, it's and it's always uh, when you're riding the bike, it's uh, like fresh air, huh? Oh, yeah. oh yeah, she likes it. Yeah, after some hike, you're gonna be appreciate <laughs> riding the bike downhill or even just. Actually, you can ride here. No, I can go here. Okay, it's easy. It uh, has a lot of torque. Wow. wow. It, uh, both of us going just easy. Nice. I'm going to probably let her walk downhill because we don't want... Okay. Why? Okay. <laughs> you can walk. Or you can record me down. How... You have phone? Okay. So... I can wait for you so she can record me riding here <laughs> but it is really actually amazing this bike performed very well better than I expected okay I'll see you down here <laughs> it's a little bit bumpy over right here And this is the mountain where I just push a little bit. This is a hill where I just a little bit push with my feet, just a little bit, I guess. Otherwise, if you light a person, it can go even the steepest hill as well. So let's go downhill. Okay. And the brakes are okay. It's even uh, able to lock the rear wheel over here, so, but again, the brakes are good. Okay, we're back on the bike, now just going back, and I have about 47% volt left on this bike, battery, so about seven and a half miles, distance I travel, mostly, uh, like, both of us, so, I think you can get about 20 miles easy on uh, depending on the weight if you lighter than us probably 30 miles that's actually very good consumption on this type of small battery only 13 amp but you can get bigger battery and probably get even better distance range and uh, thank you guys for watching don't forget hit like subscribe follow on instagram and i'll see you guys in the next video if you have any comments comment below as well see you later bye, bye.